So for today, we're going to be looking at the Warlock pieces for the Tekken Regalia sets. Finally, Warlock, it is your turn. And I'm going to be real with you guys. The last two that I have for you guys are like legitimate bangers. Um, Like so much so that I'm definitely going to use at least one of those sets on my Warlock because they look so cool. Not saying the first two are bad by any means. I do think they look cool. But the last two are just like another level. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Very much do appreciate it. Uh, again, like I said in the Titan and Hunter video, if you guys can check those two out right here while I give this spiel. The Tekian Regalia, I know it's supposed to be called the um, the Unyielding Favor set. I know this. You don't have to comment telling me this. You don't have to push up your glasses and be like, actually, you don't have to do that. I know. It's just that in-game currently, it's called Tekian's Regalia set for everyone. So until Bungie changes that, I will just keep calling it that because that's what it's called in game. I don't care that it's a bug. It's called like that in game. So that's it. That's the message. Please. I know. But if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, I really do appreciate it. Again, we're going to be looking at each of the pieces for this one. We're only not going to be looking at the, at the mark. Ugh. We're, we're going to be <clears throat> for this one. We're only going to be skimming. For this one, we're only going to be skipping out on the bond just because the bond's not good enough for, for me personally, at least to make a whole set with. So that's usually the case for Warlocks unless we get like a really, really cool one. But that's really how it is. So again, let me know what you guys think and let's just get into it. So for the first one, we're going to be using the Techians Regalia Hood. Now, I did say there wasn't a bad one or a bad set in this video, and I think this is the bad one. I mean, it looks cool. Don't get me wrong. It's just that I just think the helmet is not good. Like, I'm not a big fan of it. And I at least wanted to give you guys four pieces because I use four for everyone else. And I wanted to at least do something for you guys. So this is where you could you could really mix and match. The only like annoying thing, I guess you could say, is the fact that I'm using an exotic that a lot of people don't use, which at that point is kind of on me. I probably should have used a better exotic. But at the same time, I hate this helmet, so I didn't want to try too hard, but let's just get into it. For the chest piece, we're going to be using the Wings of Sacred Dawn with the Midnight Sun ornament. I think that ornament looks super fucking cool. For the arms contender gloves in combination with the Holdfast boots, uh, because I kind of wanted just leather stuff for there. And then for the Bond Street Scholar Bond was the choice that I made because I like the color that it gives off. So real quick, <clears throat> I would probably just switch out the arms and the boots for something that has a little bit more armor. Hell, you could probably just use the Tekken Regalia boots and that would look really, really cool because the boots are really kind of bulky and it would look really good with the with this chest piece. And then the arms could probably switch out for another one that has armor on it. That would have been really cool as well. That's like really the only two things that I have to nitpick about this set because I think First Frost looks amazing with it. Granted, the blue crystals don't look as good with it because the blue crystals are actually like really a deep blue. But for me, I was just like, I don't give a fuck about that. I just want to have a really cool shader with it because I do think the Midnight Sun ornament looks really cool with the first frost shader. So I think at this point, you would just have to switch out the arms and the boots. And for the boots, you could probably just put the Tekken's Regalia and just call it a day. And then for the arms, honestly, I would probably just put on something like something like the Tusk Allegiance arms would be really cool with this. So um not saying that this is a bad set it's just that i do think this is the weakest set from the whole sets now the next set is actually one that i actually really really like using an exotic that i actually really like look wise which is going to be using the dawn chorus with the phoenix phoenix renaissance uh ornament i think this ornament is amazing uh this one we're going to be using the tekken's regalia arms now, the reason I'm using the virtuous robes is because I wanted something a little bit more bulky, not super bulky, but enough that it didn't look weird with the arms. And then for the boots, Imperium Cartographer, because I wanted some boots, like actual boots, like metal boots. And for the bond, virtuous bond was just a choice I made because I like to combine the bond with the Phoenix Renaissance ornament, just because the bond has feathers and obviously the helmet has feathers as well. So for the shader, Metro Shift was a choice I made just because I'm blue. Uh, you're definitely going to see a lot of blue in this because the arms also have that blue gem and I just didn't want to fight it. So nothing too crazy about this one. I just think a lot of these pieces look really, really cool together. Uh, you could probably switch out the virtuous uh, robes for something else. But I definitely do think the Phoenix Resonance and the Virtuous Bond look really, really good together. So much so that I actually did combine this in another set, which I'll have right now. 
I made it for that video as well. And I just think this helmet is just fucking cool. So let me know what you guys think. I definitely like the arms, but it also does have a problem of just being so big that anything that you put on it, it looks like the arms are just eating it. So that's unfortunate. As for the next set, we're going to be using Tekken's Regalia robe with the Fallen Sunstar exotic. So this is super dope. I fucking love how this came out. For the arms, Dendrite Shimmer Gloves was an easy choice because, again, I'm trying to go for like a regal looking warlock and the arms just give off that vibe. Same thing with the Nemean Boots. I think they give off that vibe of just being like royalty and I definitely wanted to use that. And then for the arms, Starfarer's Bond because I wanted something gold in there as well. And obviously this is gold. This one's super dope with Tortured Ivy as well. Again, I used Tortured Ivy for all the classes. Did not even notice that. Didn't even like do that on purpose. Just kind of happened. And yeah, I really like this set a lot. I love this. The the like uh, chess piece is super fucking cool. And I just love almost everything about this set, if not everything, because even the color separation is really, really good. Because uh, for the Warlock, you guys will see that the loincloth is all red. A lot of this is red. But then you see like the inside of the, the robe, uh, specifically the stomach has that blue color. So it almost looks like the robe is a jacket kind of, but not really. It's almost, it's super weird because then you see the pants and it has that blue color. So it almost looks like the pants and the like inner stomach uh, armor is blue, almost connected. Um, so I love the, the color separation for this armor set. It looks super, super cool. And then last but not least, we're using Tekken Regalia boots. This one also came out fucking good. If anything, I think this one is the best one out of everything just because the color separation is really, really good or not even separation, but the color combination of like the boots, even with the crystal, uh, the blue gemstones look really good. So for the helmet, Hood of the Great Hunt is an easy choice. I'm not even kidding. This one was such an easy choice just because when you combine it with the Celestine uh, robes, I just, I, it looks amazing. Like I can't really, it looks fucking dope. <laughs> for the arms, we're going to be using the, the Osmio Manzi gloves. I really like these gloves. They look really, really cool. To be fair, though, I do think they would look way better with the ornament, but I unfortunately don't have the ornament. And I just think it looks really, really good together. For the bond, we're going to be using the Technologic Bond just because I didn't want anything too crazy. And I think the Technologic Bond looks cool. So that's really it. For the shader, Horfrost Sunrise was not an easy choice because i actually like was going through shaders trying to find like a good shader with it and then when hoarfrost came out i was like it's probably not gonna look good with it but i'll try it anyways and uh i'm happy that i tried it because i do think this is the better shader for it uh the blue is so good with the crystals on the boots but it also just gives off like such a like royal vibe not even royal but like i'm better than you vibe kind of deal so yeah, I definitely like this set a lot. This is probably my favorite set from the Warlocks for sure. Not saying the last one is bad. If anything, I really like that set as well. The one with the tortured ivory shader. But when I just, when I see this set, it just kind of, it, it hits me like, dude, like this looks so fucking good. Like definitely a set that I'm proud of that I made. So Warlocks, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I, again, I really appreciate you guys. Uh, you guys have been killing it with the likes, comments, subs, and all that and hopefully this year we start to see some more growth for the channel because fashion is what i like to do man i i love the the destiny 2 fashion stuff it's just super super dope and yeah i appreciate you guys going through this journey with me other than that be safe and i'll see you guys later